Hi everyone! I have come to Leslie's house because I fancied doing some cooking and we're very poor and don't have a stove. You know that's a lie. Okay. <laughs> Make it sound like you're banned from your own kitchen. As it's almost Christmas, I thought, what better thing to do than some cooking to give you some ideas of puddings you could make for Christmas Day. So, you said puddings. It's <laughs> a pudding. A Just pudding. one pudding. One pudding, don't be greedy. <laughs> We've no. got one pudding, and oh, we that haven't. That might be. Mm, we haven't got a pudding yet. We've not made it. <laughs> so recently, Leslie sent me a picture of a pudding cake on Pinterest. Why did you send me it, Leslie? I think my question was: I can't work out if this looks delicious or terrible. So I wanted a second opinion. I'll put the picture on screen. I think it looks like a large hot dog <laughs> cut into slices. Yum! So, since it's vegan, and lots of people are vegan, we thought we'd make it and be healthy, and if you are also vegan and you're looking for an alternative to Christmas pudding, you could make this. Yes, healthy. Let's get cracking. Okay. I mean, but not because there's no eggs. There's no eggs. Vegan. What do we need to do first? Okay. Place milk, water, sugar and salt in a saucepan and heat over medium heat. That's the saucepan. It's coconut milk, not yes, milk milk. Yes, because it's vegan, remember? Until... Until we get... I should just point out now, it's vegan until we get to where you're supposed to add agar, agar powder. Agar, 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 agar. I only... Well, I couldn't find any agar, agar and Leslie only had gelatin. But shh! Sorry. It's almost vegan. I want you to stand on the other side of me because I look gigantic. I'm short. <laughs> right, let's get stuff in a pan. Milk, two cup. Now I'm excited to find out if there's two cups worth in this tin because I only bought one tin. Oh boy. probably could have done with giving it a shake. It's quite gelatinous. <laughs> it smells nice. This can only go well. <laughs> Would you like a utensil? Oh, yes. I'm just making Michael Jackson noises. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe less height. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the sound? Not amazing. <laughs> I don't think we've got two cups here. Oh! <laughs> I knew this is a very bad time there. Oh. It looks like a good time. <laughs> you heard it here first. And it looks like glue. <laughs> that should have gone in the saucepan, not the bowl. Oh, balls. <laughs> It's more watery tasting than coconut. Ah. Well, now that we've thoroughly messed up the first step. Right, one cup water achieved. Oh, that, that water's made it really look like a good time. Sugar, 70 grams. Okay. Let's use this. Okay, so this goes into the saucepan, yeah? Um, I think so. Boop. now. I'm not thrilled at the look of that. I'm not gonna lie. 
heat over a medium heat. I'm going to start adding my chocolate to this concoction. And it's dark chocolate because most dark chocolate does tend to be vegan. Obviously, if you are being very strict about your veganism, make sure that it's vegan chocolate. Whilst I am heating this concoction, Nesli, what are you doing? I am mixing cocoa powder and water, which sounds straightforward, but cocoa powder is weirdly waterproof. Oh, soil. <laughs> it's looking better. It is. Mm. Are you ready for this jelly? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Part's not vegan, We're but it sorry. would be if you had the correct ingredients, and I'm sorry. We don't really know what we're doing because this has had the gelatin in, and as you can see, it ain't thick. But we also don't have a large hot dog sausage shaped mold. Funnily enough, so we've got really cute little glasses. I think it's going to be very classy that we're gonna fill the chocolate soup with no 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 I'll, we're I'll gonna go. fill them with the chocolate soup <laughs> shall we just pour it in yeah, and see what That's happens hopes for the best oh. <laughs> oh, I only spill a bit yeah look at that mess <laughs> Hey, better than I did. I mean, I drink that. Yeah, it has got a sort of nice hot chocolate vibe to it. It's time to put these in the fridge. Please set a little Things. Little chocolate soups. <laughs> so, we left them in the fridge for... Not very long, not to be as, honest. Not as long as it said, because we're good at life. And I need to get home for my tea. <laughs> so, it's it's not entirely set, but it's 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 a lot firmer than it does. Yeah, and it's chocolate, so how could it go wrong? I mean, let's find out. Yeah. Ladies first. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh wow. The the top has solidified, the underneath is and Oh that's lumpy too. The, there is some some lumpage. I don't know what it's lumps of. I feel as though this is gonna be one of those videos that is just, you know, cooking fail. Documenting a cooking fail. Nice. <laughs> um, it does taste nice. The lumps are a concern. I mean, they they add to it. It's texture. I think it it might be user error rather than anything else. But I feel like it would if it does go solid, it's going to taste nice. Mm. It does taste chocolatey. So <laughs> our top tip is. <laughs> Follow the recipe properly, have the ingredients you're supposed to have, and leave it in the fridge for as long as it actually says. Mm. Apart from that, spot on, nailed it. Nailed it. I mean, you could just drink you it. Could, you really literally could just drink that. <laughs> mm. And they are. Oh!
Oh, wow, they really said. Yeah, it's, I'd say it was the consistency of like a mousse. Oh, oh, I'm jealous. But unlike the mousse, there's no pockets of lies. So all of this is food. I'm really worried about the little lumps of cocoa powder as well. I'm looking forward to them. Flavour's good. Good. But there is grittiness. <laughs> when you, you put it in your mouth, you, you know <laughs> that's not intentional texture. <laughs> but it does taste really nice. What out of 10 would you give it? I mean, with the lumps, I'm going to take it down to maybe a six. Okay. If it didn't have the lumps, I'd give it maybe an eight or a nine. Ooh, I would say that's a partial success. Hmm. This was fun. And what I'm going to suggest is if you have got somebody vegan coming for Christmas dinner, buy in a dessert. <laughs> or make this properly, because it does taste nice. We're just bad. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can click on my fancy head to subscribe. I don't just do cooking fails, and somewhere around here will be last week's video. I did some singing and I'm slightly better at that. I'll talk to you next week. Bye! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>